are all part of history. Wherever we are and whatever we're doing, world events shape our memories. And for most of the 20th century, those events were filmed and explained by Pathé. Pathé News captured history in motion, creating a living chronicle of a turbulent century. 1954 was a year in which colonial power took a battering. In Indochina, France suffered at the hands of the Viet Minh, a force of communist rebels led by Ho Chi Minh that had set itself the task of ridding the area now known as North Vietnam of its colonial masters. There had been conflict between the French and the rebels since 1946. The French had managed to contain Ho Chi Minh's forces, but a decisive battle always seemed inevitable. That battle came during 1954. At Dien Bien Phu, the French dug themselves in for a last ditch stand. The rebels attacked and a murderous siege began. The United States watched helplessly as the French resistance started to crack. They had thought of entering the war on the French side, but could find little support for action amongst other world powers. The United States had just fought a costly war in Korea for little gain, and so feelings were opposed to further military commitment against the emergent communist forces of Southeast Asia. May of 1954 saw the fall of Diem Bien Phu. By July, the French had signed a treaty with the rebels which officially divided the country into North and South Vietnam. France decided that it had to withdraw from its colonies with honor. In Algeria, riots signaled more trouble overseas for the French. France braced itself for more difficult years. Britain, too, had its fair share of colonial worries. After the independence of India, the mood of the British nation seemed to be in favor of a gradual withdrawal from the empire. Those living under colonial rule wanted independence at a faster pace. In Kenya, the Mau Mau, led by Jomo Kenyatta, had terrorized the white community for two years. Britain's patience finally ran out, and an offensive saw the Mau Mau's reign of terror come to an end. But the British government resolved to set the process of independence in motion. Within 10 years, Kenyatta was to become president. In Egypt, Colonel Nasser had come to the fore. He undermined the power of President Naguib and engineered an agreement between Britain and Egypt on the future of British forces in the country and around the Suez Canal zone. Nasser's power was threatened briefly when fundamental Muslims tried to assassinate him. He survived and lived to cause problems for the British in 1956 when he sparked off the Suez Crisis. In America, Senator Joe McCarthy's career of purging the country of supposed communists came to a sordid end, and the Senate condemned him for conduct unbecoming to his status. The climate of fear created by McCarthy's witch hunts cooled, but many people's lives had been scarred. 